Welcome to the V-Acoustic Experience. Over the next few minutes, we'll review acoustic problems commonly found in project studios, cover the ways our products address these problems, and show how we can improve the room's aesthetic along the way. Let's get started. Imagine you've sent V-Acoustic these plans for your home studio. The V-Acoustic Projects team will model your space, perform an acoustic analysis, and recommend solutions to help your studio reach its full potential. Our analysis has revealed several issues in the room. We'll visualize each problem and demonstrate how V-Acoustic products work together to improve the accuracy of your recordings. The first set of issues we'll cover are first reflections. Sound radiates from your speakers, reflecting all around the room. For now, we'll follow a few individual paths to see how they end up reaching the listening position. The first sound that arrives is called direct sound. It travels from the speaker to the listener without interruption. The next sounds to arrive are called first reflections. These arrive later than direct sound and may be colored after reflecting off a surface. Reflections can affect the stereo image, making it difficult to localize sound sources. Notice there are first reflections happening on the right wall, the left wall, and the ceiling, some arriving at different times. To control these reflections, we're adding the Cinema Round Premium near the reflection points. There's also a reflection that occurs on the rear wall. This wall is a source of even more acoustic defects. But putting an absorber in the back can make the room sound too dead. We'll diffuse the sound instead by adding the Multifuser DC2. Diffusion controls the sound while keeping the energy inside the room, improving spaciousness. The next set of issues we'll address are room modes. These are one of the biggest obstacles to accurate sound reproduction. Typically occurring below 200 Hz, Room modes happen when a sound's frequency matches the room's resonant frequency. The wave you see now represents the first mode along the width of the room, and it occurs near 43 Hertz. If you're sitting in a peak, this frequency will seem too loud. If you're sitting in a valley, this frequency will be far too quiet. There's another mode around 86 Hertz that follows a different pattern. Room modes also occur along the length of the room, in this case at 69 Hertz. In fact, there are many more modes impacting the perceived low frequency of your recordings, impacting the precision of your mix. Watch what happens to the peaks and valleys as we add the super bass extreme in all four corners of the room. The room's bass now has an even, controlled response and you can mix with confidence, knowing you have accurate low frequency reproduction. The last issue we're going to address is reverberation. Let's remove all of the room treatment and show a single burst of sound emitting from the right speaker. These particles of light represent the sound's energy interacting with the room. As you can see, sound that's not absorbed continues to reflect off surfaces and travel through the room, losing energy with each bounce. This lingering sound is called a reverberation, and it can hurt your recording's clarity if it persists for too long. If a particle turns red, it means it has been around too long and is causing problems for you. Notice how many red particles are still left. Let's bring back our room treatment. And to further help with controlling reverberation, we'll add wave woods above you and to your left, some red flexi waves, to match our keyboard, and some LED lights to finish off the room's aesthetic. Let's see how long that same burst of sound persists this time. As you can see, the reverberation in this room is now tightly controlled. Finally, let's hear the difference V-Acoustic can make in your studio. We'll move you to the listening position, remove all the room treatment, and sample some vocals. Is afraid who love planned is to bland. Is afraid who love planned is to bland. How about some guitar?
And now for the full mix. The difference is remarkable, and that's without changing any of the existing equipment. We also offer many different colors and styles to enhance the design of any room. In this demo, we've covered how first reflections, reverberation, and room modes can impact the accuracy of your mix. We've also showed how V-Acoustic products can not only address these problems, but make your studio look and feel better too. We have so much more to share and encourage you to pick up a free copy of our white paper. We hope you enjoyed our demo. You may now take off the headset 